Day nine. I finally achieved my goal today in our square. While finding all that cool pottery, we also found part of an iron blade, which is awesome because I love collecting swords. So now I've gotten to collect one out of the ground that's a couple thousand years old, so that's pretty neat. Even though I don't get to keep it, that was pretty cool. So there's a lot of neat stuff going on in our square. Houston, I think it is. What's up on your square today? Apparently, everything and nothing. This is a standing stone, isn't it? Yes, I was told that the stones around there support it. Um, okay. So I haven't been able to remove them. Right. But I don't know how to tell if it's just because everything was full of stones. Mm -hmm. So it may just happen that there were stones around it or. Yeah, so, so I don't know. We don't know yet. Don't know yet. Okay. So I don't know if it's installation. And then this here may be a, maybe a hallway towards the cultic bench, which means this standing stone, which would be a place of worship or something like that, could uh, be connected, which would be really neat because that would connect with our square and the libation vessel we found there. Alright, Tony. Tell me about your square. So far we have what seems to be a wall. Whoa. We can work over here on this side because it's too narrow and we were destroying the bulk. The center, we're thinking we're close to the floor. What are all these flags? Uh, the bags are just... Flags? Oh, the flags. The flags are pottery. Okay. Fragments that we're not pulling out because we think we're on the floor. And on the other side of this iron wall, mm -hmm. uh, we think, is a bunch of plaster. They let me go. Either an entrance into the cultic room or part of the oil press on the other, on the other okay. uh, square. All right, cool. All right, Travis, what's going on in your square today? Um, I have more of an olive press installation. Um, yeah? I found a basin. I don't know how deep it goes, but this is definitely where they collected the olive oil and would press it. Yeah. Um, in this square, I have the other half of this installation. They would run a beam across here. That's what he was saying. Yeah. They would tie the weights to it, and they would take it off of his end. Uh -huh. Not in the ball. And just set it down on the olives. I see. I'm not 100% on how they would collect it from here. Uh, we haven't really found any pottery or anything, but I'm not really expecting to because of the function of this area. Right. So we'll, we'll kind of see as we go down. And then you have the cut bedrock. You can see the, the lines coming around here. That's, that's a pretty obviously hewn, right? Um, yeah, it's faced. Uh, we actually think that's an Iron Age facing, though. Really? Because this is a Hellenistic wall. Mm -hmm. um, and the facing runs almost parallel to it, but it starts to deviate quite a bit. Okay. Um, the further it goes, the more it deviates, which makes me think that uh, the Hellenistic arch architects um, didn't quite follow this line or weren't capable of it once they started Or working. didn't care, yeah. Um, I think they cared because they, were, they made a great deal of effort to try to come up with it. Okay. Um, but just the general run of the building, I think that they couldn't do it. Hmm. Um, oh, like yeah. Their calculation was just right. a little bit off. So right. that's and why it wound up that way. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah, a lot of neat stuff today. We found a we found a blade in our square. Yeah. That's pretty cool. An iron blade. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, the also we got a couple more. Um, and I'm probably wrong too. We got a couple more people on the dig today, um, and they have started a, uh, another square over here. Um, two new gentlemen from the States just came in. And so their square is looking pretty chill right now, nothing too exciting. And then, uh, hey Clay, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, what's been going on in your square today? Um, we're marking right now six buckets out of pottery from this corner. Whoa, and you're not even like half an inch down. Where'd you get all this pottery from? So, what, do you have any typology on it yet? I, uh, Hellenistic. <laughs> Hellenistic, okay, so that's not as exciting, but still. What are you talking about? Hellenistic's amazing. Well, okay. Are you classical? I'm both. You're both. Oh, you're one of those guys. <laughs> awesome. So, lots of excitingness. Let's go out and take a look. This is Sunday, and so we're working in the evening again, and everybody's over here watching the sun go down. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, this is beautiful. Ding! And there it goes, folks. Happy Hanukkah! That was a special moment. So, I'm glad we could share this special moment here. Let's, let's, you know, let's take a minute in this video here. So, this hill here is Tel Azaikah. Um, and then over... 
I'm gonna run, so it's gonna really shaky. Da, 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 da. Over here, if you look, let's see, that hill right there, that one, is Tel Soho. And then the Philistine army would have been arrayed in battle all along these hills here, all out. And the Israelites would have been down on these hillside here. And you can't see it, but there is a there is a stream that runs along this valley and then it cuts down right underneath this hillside, right here, right where my finger is running along. And that is where they they suspect, because this is where the stream runs closest to the Israelite position, that David would have walked down and picked up his stones and gone out somewhere in the middle of this plain and slain Goliath. So this is what we get to look at every day. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So that's day nine. More updates as we go.